Okay. So this is my DSLR camera, and I'm really paranoid about using it without the strap being around my neck. From years of, um, I started on analog, so long before digital cameras came in, my mother used to do a lot of photography. So I learned celluloid. I learned Betamax video. So we went to Hong Kong when um, CD players and video players first came out and bought a VH, sorry, not a VHS, a Betamax camera, which was massive. And the battery pack was about that wide by that, by about that. And it weighed about 20 kilos, the battery pack alone. Um, and the camera was really, really big. So I learned that way. I don't like being filmed and my mother would always film me. It culminated with one day me being in the changing room and her walking in on me, pulling the screen back so everyone on the street could see me right in front of the glass and film me with her digital camera. And at that point I decided that I wasn't going to be in front of the camera, I was going to be behind it. So I again took the digital camera off her and I started filming everyone else and that way I, I was out of it. It's one of the reasons I don't film people. And it was a real challenge for me when I started doing this stream thing to actually turn the camera on. So for quite a long time, I didn't turn the camera on at all. And then I've kind of got over it a little bit now. So I don't mind being on camera myself if I'm controlling it. Um, but I don't like filming people. And the way I look at it, if I don't like it, they're not going to like it either. So... I've developed a whole way of filming that I'm always aware of what's going on around me. If I see people and children coming, I've already done a pan so you don't notice them. And um, that's one of the things I do. But this is all culminated with my lovely digital camera here. So this is a Panasonic Lumix. And um, I can do 60 times zoom with this so I can zoom all the way in on the craters of the moon. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> and it's got a weird sound, which the cat has not got used to yet. So here, let's take a photo of ourselves. Um, so I do try to do as much filming as I can on my DSLR. The quality I get is a million times better. And um, I also film in a different way. So most people film like this, which I never do. I film point of view. So my camera is always here and I'm using the view screen. I also hold tension against the straps, which is one of the ways to get a really good stable photo. And the most important thing when you're filming is never film like this, because you're all over the place. Arms have to be like this. So if I'm on my camera or on my phone, it's the same way. If you have your arms anchored at your side like this, and you hold the camera with both hands, that'll cut out 80% of your shaky issues. So that's one of the main reasons. And when I film on my camera, I'll show you. So there's my DSLR. When I film on my phone, same deal. Always have both of my arms anchored here and I film like this. So I'm using the screen to look through. I might look around and see what's coming next, but it's always those two arms anchored to you is a world of difference. So there you go. That's the best filming tip I can give you. And I learned really, really young. I learned where you didn't have two takes. You couldn't take a million photos and hope for the best. You, If you filmed, you had to film good. Um, so that's a lot of where that came from for me. Please like, comment and subscribe.